So what happens if you don't pay your lot rent? Is that even a problem? Are there any issues directly tied to not paying your monthly lot rent? That is a topic that is highly debated, and we are here to dispel all rumors. So thank you so much for joining us and learning about the importance of paying lot rent and what could possibly happen. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mark. I work with a company called The Mobile Home Dealer. Over the last few years, we have sold several million dollars worth of mobile homes throughout the entire southern part of the country, and we are so happy that you are a part of the community watching the video. If you find any an, any enjoyment or value out of this video whatsoever, please do us a huge favor and click that like button. Also consider subscribing to the community as we here at the Mobile Home Dealer have a lot of fun with a lot of our videos and really enjoy growing the community so we can get more information out to people in the mobile home industry that frankly nobody is talking about. So with that being said, welcome, welcome, welcome to this educational video discussing what lot rent is and what can happen if you don't pay that bill each month. So before we get started so far, we need to give a very, very brief rundown of what lot rent is, especially for all you new folks who have just recently joined the channel and are enjoying the community here. So what lot rent is, it's a set payment made every single month if you own a mobile home in a mobile home park where you're buying the house, but you are not buying the land. Now, that lot rent payment can also be referred to as space rent, um, park association fees. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different terms, but it's all basically the same thing. The lot rent will be paid each and every month. Now, folks, that is a payment that you will never be paying off. Okay, that's a payment that just will go on from from now until the end of in, until the end of time. The vast majority of those uh, uh, lot rents do include some utilities. Okay, so it's going to include usually your water bill, your sewer bill, your trash bill, your lawn care, and a usage and upkeep of the park amenities. We also refer that to that as the big five. So the big five things. Okay. Now, the other item that a lot of times folks will not realize is that if you own a mobile home in a mobile home park where you're paying lot rent, if you don't own the land, you're not paying property tax. So that is usually a very, very large savings annually when you factor that you're not paying that. Okay. So um, with that being said, lot rent will usually be owed to the park on the first of the month. It'll usually be late by the seventh of the month. Okay, so make sure that you 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 get that paid on time. Now, for some reason, if you run a few days late, always contact the park manager, let them know what your situation is and see if they can work things out. If you are ever curious about when lot rent is due, what happens if you um, don't pay it on time, if there's you know, late fees or whatever, always consult the park manager or the park owner. They've got a big document, it's called the prospectus, which is essentially a fancy word for saying the do's and the don'ts of the park. Uh, they will provide that to you when you join the park. If you haven't received it yet, just give them a holler. I'm sure they'll get you a copy with no uh, no pushback whatsoever. Now, when we're talking about the lot rent, we have to talk about kind of the, I don't know, the, kind of the negative side, if you will, of lot rent. So what happens if you don't pay it? Well, let me tell you on the front end, as a licensed mobile home broker for the mobile home dealer, I will strongly advocate that you do not do not not pay. Does that make sense? Do not not pay your lot rent. Okay, make sure you, you keep up on that. Make sure you pay it um, it, pay it early or at the very least on time, okay? If you don't pay it, okay, this is the, the basis of the video. We ran into a situation last week, and this is what's prompting this video. We ran into a situation last week where someone called us, and they, said they, want, they, they saw our, our YouTube stuff. Imagine that. And um, they wanted us to, to, to list their house for them, okay? So uh, our standard operating procedure is anytime we get a listing in, we always make sure that we clarify with the park uh, if there is any back lot rent, how much lot rent there is, you know, that type of thing. We want to make sure that we know kind of what we're dealing with before we ever agree to sell a house. We called the park and we asked them if there was any back lot rent. They said yes. We asked how much. And they said, you know, two months. Okay, so that was immediately a red flag for our sales agent who heard that there was two months. Now, normally, okay, normally speaking, most mobile home parks want nothing to do with, with selling mobile homes. There are some parks out there that, you know, have the manager sell a few here and there. But the vast majority of them, their business is running the mobile home park 
business. Their business is not our business. They are not really interested in selling homes. They're interested in collecting lot rent, making sure the, the community is up to standards, the landscapers paid, that type of thing. So usually when there's back lot rent and us as licensed brokers call the park, we find out exactly to the dollar what's owed, and then we make it very clear to both the park and to the seller that the park has got to be paid first before anybody else when the home is sold. Okay, so to give you an example, let's say uh, we sell the home just for this silly example for, for $50,000. Okay, the sale of the home is fifty grand, And let's say there's two grand owned, owed to the park. Before anybody gets commissions, before anybody um, does, does anything wacky and, and you know, goes to Vegas and puts it all on red or whatever they're going to do, um, before they go and do that, that first $2,000 is going to be paid directly to the park. Okay, the seller is not going to receive that. Now, we do that for a lot of reasons. The main reason is we just want to make sure that the park is taken care of. We want to make sure that the, that the seller doesn't have some type of a silly legal situation following them. If they don't, if they get their money and they don't pay, um, we want to make sure the park is 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 really just kind of taken care of. Okay, we want to make sure all bills are paid before the seller receives their money. Life happens. People get behind. You know, people lose jobs. People pass away, unfortunately, and you know, getting behind on lot rent can't happen. So when we got the phone call, we called the park and we asked them uh, if they uh, if they had back lot rent. They said they did. We asked how much. It was two months. It was about about fourteen fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, we identified ourselves obviously as licensed brokers. We told them usually how we do things. You know, they make sure that we get a ledger with the exact amount that is owed, and then we make sure the park is paid before anybody else. This is where the bad side of things happened very very quickly. The park immediately let us know that they were not going to work with us and that they were in the process of evicting the home, okay? Now, what does that mean? Well, when they evict the home because it is a mobile home, okay, then their thought is, okay, well, I'll evict the home because they're not paying, kind of like evicting a person from like an apartment, if that makes any sense. Um, and that can happen. That definitely can happen. That's well within their legal rights to do that. Most parks don't do that. They don't really want to do that. They just want to get it sold, and they want it, they want the um, the, uh, uh, the the to get paid by the by the seller, you know, for the lot rent. But once it goes into eviction, us as licensed mobile home brokers cannot sell a home. The reason why is because they then send it over to the courts. The park then hires an attorney. They go through this eviction process. It's going to depend on what state you're in and where you're watching this and what time you're watching this. But usually, evictions can take anywhere between say four to four to 12 weeks, you know, a month, two, three months, something like that. Here's the negative side. If you don't pay the lot rent and the park really wants to push it, what they will do is they will file for eviction with the court like this park did. What will then happen is the park will not allow the home to be sold because they will not approve the new owner of the home based on what home they are buying. So they will not approve any sale. What then happens is once it goes into eviction, the attorneys will file uh, documents with the court and they will then move to uh, auction the home. Now, when they go to auction the home, they have to do a few different things. Like they have to put an advertisement in like the local newspaper and a few other items. Um, they have to announce that they're, they're auctioning it. Usually what happens is they wind up au uh, auctioning the home and one person shows up to buy the home. It's the park. So the park usually winds up buying the home out of eviction, and it's usually for like a dollar. And I know that sounds terrible, especially it's a house, for Christ's sake here, not a pair of tennis shoes. But they usually wind up pushing it, and they wind up um, auctioning the home, and they usually buy it for a buck. Okay. Well, after they buy the house for a dollar, the park immediately flips it around and then sells it for, usually they try to uh, remarket it immediately to some cash buyers for what they owe, for what they, what for what, uh, they owe on the lot rent. Okay, so... In this particular situation, the person had about a $40,000 home. They did not pay the lot rent. The home then got put into uh, eviction. They filed with the court. I found out today that the home has then been uh, auctioned off. As of this morning, the park would not tell me what they paid for it. I'd venture to think it was probably a dollar. And then the, the, the park will immediately go to resell it for the $2,000. I think it was $1,500 that they, um, that they uh, were owed. So the person does not get a single dollar. Essentially, they were they had the home repossessed. That is an absolute nightmare, and that is the worst case scenario, but we did run into it 
Uh, this has been about a three week process now, which is why the video is coming out today. Um, so can a park repossess the home? Again, I'm not an attorney. I'm just some random guy on YouTube. So make sure you, you check with your attorney, but it, it looks like they can. Okay. And it looks like they can if they don't get the lot rent and then they push for eviction. So please, I know we have a lot of fun on this channel. I know we like to joke around. You get to see a lot of my personality throughout the videos, but please, 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 I'm begging you folks. If you go in and you buy a mobile home in a mobile home park where you're buying the house and paying lot rent, do not joke around with lot rent. Don't play that game. Don't sit there and say, well, you know, I'll pay half of it this month. And you know, I'm, I'm no, no, don't play that game, guys. You do not want to wind up on the wrong side of a park who can exercise their legal right to move and essentially repossess your house. Okay, this is your house, folks. This is not a pair of tennis shoes. This is not a uh, you know a phone or something like that 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 you can you can go get a new one. All right, this is your home. Okay, this is where you live. So take lot rent very very seriously. I'm a huge advocate of lot rent. I'm a huge advocate and a proponent of mobile homes and mobile home parks with lot rent due to the affordability of them. Um, but I am also telling you this as a word of caution. Do not play around with lot rent. Make sure it's paid because if you don't pay it and it winds up going a few months in the rears, then the park can exercise their right and look to repossess their home. So with that being said, to avoid this entire nightmare, make sure even before you buy a mobile home in a mobile home park, make sure that the lot rent is something that you can afford and make sure that when you sign on to uh, purchase the home and to take on the lot rent, you fully know when that lot rent is due, when it can be delivered by the last date and when they really want it, okay? So that way you now know if you can afford the lot rent in the beginning, and you also know when it is due and when is the last day you can pay it without something nasty happening. So I hope you found some value in this. Thank you so much for being a part of the video about lot rent. The take home, pay your lot rent. Okay. My name is Mark. You've been with the Mobile Home Dealer. Thank you so much for being a part of this educational series. And as always, we'll see y'all on the next one.